Well, there's a launch of another sort about to take place. The Gander Seniors Flyer is now a reality, and it's going to be having its opening season at home at the Gander Community Centre October the 20th as they face off against the Mount Pearl Blades. I wanted to find out more, so I caught up with the president as well as the general manager of the hockey team, Gary White. Gary, the last time you and I spoke, Gander Seniors Flyers was still a question mark. Things have changed. That's correct, Tina. It's no longer a question mark. It's a definite go. We've had a lot of support within the community and within the Hockey Newfoundland Labrador uh, with the uh, chairman of the Senior Council and the league itself. It's been, uh, it's been a lot of work over the last five months, but it's all paying off. A lot of excitement within the community. The, uh, the idea that hockey is coming back at that senior level, and especially with NHL, <laughs> the NHL being uh, locked out. This is a perfect opportunity to catch some hockey. Well, I hope so. I'm, I'm hoping we're going to cash in on the uh, Hockey Night in Canada, so it's going to be Hockey Night in Gander. <laughs> and uh, hopefully uh, we'll get a lot of community support and uh, cheer on the young guys while they're on the ice uh, fighting for Gander Flyers. They're going to be having their opening night on October the 20th, and now is the time when people can take advantage of buying those holding tickets. Explain a little bit about what that is, because there is some confusion about how the holding seats uh, are different from the tickets themselves. Okay, Gina, you're correct. The holding seats are slightly different. Basically, when you purchase a holding seat for the cost of $75, it gives you permission to use that seat for the entire season, not only regular season and playoffs and potential hurt or play. Uh, so we as an organization will keep that particular seat for you right up until the Wednesday before game time. Now the week that uh, hockey is being played here at the community center, on Tuesday nights and on Wednesday nights between the hours of 7 and 9, we're going to have a pre-seat sale. And this is only for holding seat owners. So it gets a chance to buy the tickets before the game day and you know exactly where you're going to be sitting all season. So the ticket sales, um, how much is that going to be cost? You mentioned the holding uh, tickets are $75. What about the uh, regular tickets for the games? The regular season tickets are going to be $13. That's $11.50 plus HST. And now if you buy a holding seat and you want to buy all 12 games, we're giving you a one game discount. So for the holding seat and all 12 games, it's going to cost you a total of $218. You have a full roster and you guys are already about to get started on the practicing? That's correct. We right now have 24 signed players. So we have more than a roster, and this coming weekend, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, we're going to be having four skates, and it's going to be involving all of our Newfoundland players. Our four uh, people from the mainland won't be in for this particular practice, but they will be in in early October. And this is open to the public? We can take a peek and get an idea of what the players are like? By all means. Is, uh, hopefully we're going to create some excitement. Let people come down and see what kind of product we got for the ice and hopefully sell some more holding seats. So what is the times over the weekend that you guys are, are practicing? On Friday night is from 10 p.m. to 11.30. On Saturday we're 1 p.m. to 2. And again at 6.10 to 8.10. And on Sunday morning at 11, at, I'm sorry, at 10 a.m. to 11.30. Well, they have to look good. So what about, the, uh, what about the jerseys? That's been one of the most popular questions uh, we've been asked uh, over the last three or four months. What are we doing? We're keeping the purple and gold. We, it's a town tradition right now. And we're going with a uh, diagonal flyers across the jersey, similar to what the uh, midget all-stars used there last winter. Old school. Old school. Exactly. And like I say, we're trying to continue the tradition, so we're going to keep some tradition. How are things going in, get, in terms of promoting the events and how are you getting that information out to the public? Well, <laughs> like yourself, the media has been a, a great help to us. Uh, we're getting a lot of media coverage uh, provincially and locally. And uh, just uh, on our website, uh, we got www.ganderflyers.com uh, and .ca. We've purchased both domains and that's in the process of being uh, designed right now by a company in St. John's. And we also have a, an official uh, Facebook page as well. So keep an eye out and an ear out. And uh, Gary, is there, you know, I know you're also looking for volunteers. Of course. Uh, we talked about this right from day one. This is a 12-month venture. We need uh, community support, not only on game nights, but throughout the week to help us organize and make sure this is a viable venture for the uh, team for Gander. Best of luck. I know you guys are going to have packed houses. Thanks so much, Gary. I sincerely hope so. Thanks, Gina.